If you are pregnant or you've recently had a baby, this podcast is for you. I am your host, Kath Bequee, a physiotherapist working in women's health and mum of three. Inside my online program, Fitness Mama, I just love helping support women to care for their bodies during pregnancy, prepare their bodies for birth and support their after birth recovery, helping them feel confident and strong inside out during this important stage of their lives. In this podcast, join me each week as we dive into all things pregnancy care, childbirth and postnatal recovery, helping you through every step of the journey. It is absolutely possible to feel amazing and confident in our bodies during this motherhood journey, and I want that for you. Come and say hi to me on Instagram at fitnessmama, and let's dive into today's episode. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Fitness Mama podcast. Today, I'm a little bit hesitant in doing this topic but I thought it was important to discuss. I'm going to chat today. (laughs) I'm even hesitating right now, but I'm going to talk today about why focusing on weight loss after birth isn't necessarily helpful and what you could perhaps do instead. So I am broaching the topic of weight loss, which I don't usually do. And I usually avoid it because for me and my program, Fitness Mama, it isn't about weight loss. Our physical recovery program post-birth is about that inner strength. It's about feeling better inside out. It's about regaining our confidence. It's about so many different things. And if you're after a weight loss program, perhaps Fitness Mama isn't for you. But instead of tuning out, (laughs) let's just first of all think about this topic of weight loss because whether or not it's a conscious goal or more perhaps it's a subconscious goal, I know it is, it's big and I know most women do consider it after birth, whether or not you admit it or not. So let's, let's dive in. Now, I, I'm not a weight loss coach. I'm not, it's not my area of expertise. My area of expertise is helping women recover after birth physically, helping them regain their strength so that they can get back to doing what they love with confidence and a bubba by their side, whether or not that's running the next marathon or running around them with the kids at the park. So I'm very happy to put up my hand and say, I'm a little bit out of my depth, but I speak to a lot of my members. I've had over 500 people come through Fitness Mama and every time anyone joins for the first time, they sent a form and I love to find out what their individual challenges and goals are because although we've had a lot of members come through Fitness Mama, you'd be surprised at how personalized it is. And sometimes I, I, quite often I do reach out personally to you and just touch base. Let's say you had pelvic girdle pain. I'm like, hey, I, you know, I see you wrote down that you've got pelvic girdle pain. How's everything going? So I have asked over 500 women coming through my program, what are your challenges and what are your goals? And I've, it's interesting because I've, I've worked out there are two sorts of groups, two different types of women who join fitness. And perhaps you fall into one of these groups, perhaps you perhaps fall into both. I'm not sure. And I'm not trying to pigeonhole anyone here. And if you're listening to this, don't feel guilty or I'm just putting this out there so that maybe it's something you might want to consider. Just maybe what our goal goals are, we can reframe them to perhaps be a bit more helpful and effective for us. So let me get into it. So there's two, I guess, groups of goals that are women that come through Fitness Mama with two sort of different groups of goals. And to put it simply, there are those who are focused on weight loss and perhaps they want to do, they want to experience weight loss safely. And so they join my program and that's fine. That's great. But then there's also those who aren't as, perhaps they just don't tell me outwardly, but they're not as focused on weight loss and they have different goals. Let me explain the subtle differences in these types of goals. And I want to see if you can work this out. So I've got a group of women whose goals are, and I'm quoting this here from women that have been in my program, they want to be a strong mum for my baby. 
I want to feel confident in my recovery. I want a strong mind, strong body. See if you can notice this subtle difference. I want to lose all my baby weight in the next six months. Can you notice a subtle difference between those two different groups of goals? The way I like to think about them is some of those goals, the first group were internal goals. They were internal drivers. Whereas the second group, the weight loss group, were more external goals or I guess external drivers. The internal drivers are usually, again, I am perhaps simplifying things, but these women tend to stick around longer. These women tend to turn up. They tend to be the ones to log into my live programs, uh, live classes. These are the ones that log into the app. And the women with external drivers, again, it's not all the time. I am pigeonholing, but hear me out. The external drivers are often really motivated at the start but they lose motivation really quickly and they're the ones that don't log on. They don't come to classes and perhaps they cancel after a month or so because they haven't reached their goals. So if you've been thinking about your goals after having a baby, like that's awesome, that's amazing, but I want you to just ask yourself the question, is this an external driven goals? Is this, is this and when I say external, I'm saying is it, are there external factors that are responsible for these goals. So for example, losing baby weight, that's like a an outcome of a whole lot of stuff that is perhaps a bit more out of control, whether or not it's out of your control. It's fatigue can get in the way, your food. It's it's looking at the long-term end outcome. Whereas an ideal goal and I help my mums inside Fitness Mama do that. We, we get our final end destination goal and we try to flip it to how do I want to feel in this goal? Like how do I want to, how does this goal make me feel? And so we try to get those internal drivers. We try to think about those internal drivers. And then we try to break down that, perhaps that big goal that you've got into smaller goals. I think, okay. If I want to feel confident in my recovery, if I want to have a strong mind, strong body, if I want to be running a marathon in the next 12 months, what do I need to do? And again, I'm not going to go through an actual goal setting session. If you want me to, let me know. This is something I do with my members inside Fitness Mama. Send me a DM on Instagram at Fitness Mama. But we break it down so that you have a bit of an idea of what your goals are each month. And we can break that down further. What are your goals each week? And what are your goals each day? Now, life doesn't go according to plan. Motherhood doesn't go according to plan. Sometimes you're busy. Sometimes you're exhausted. Sometimes you've had no sleep. So how do we navigate those goals when we have motherhood on our doorstep? What could make that goal really easy to achieve? Can we have two different levels of goals, a a non-negotiable goal that's really easy to achieve and then an amazing, I did this goal that we're really excited that we did achieve that day. So, so yes, focusing on weight loss. Sure, that maybe that, that is your goal and that might be fantastic. But if you are thinking about weight loss after the birth, think why, why does this matter to me? Is it so that you can get up off the couch without having to push off with your arms? Is it so that you can settle your baby or push the pram up the hill and not be so short of breath that you can't talk on the phone. Like what, what is it about that weight loss goal that is important to you? Let, let's break it down into smaller goals, but let's also find out what are some of the internal goals, in, and internal drivers, I should say, because they're very subtle, aren't they, those two different goals. And we're also thinking long-term goals versus short-term goals. We're thinking long-term goals versus sustainable goals, everyday goals, lifestyle goals. So it does get complicated and I'm very happy to talk you through your goals. Again, send me a message on Instagram. But if you think perhaps your goal isn't serving you or that you're always breaking that goal or it's always a goal and you're never achieving it or you don't know how to achieve your goal, then maybe it's time to rethink your goal. So that's it, ladies. Hopefully it's given you a bit to think about. I love my mums that come in consistently. They... They turn up consistently and you know what, it doesn't mean that they're spending a whole hour doing a workout. 
Sometimes they come for five minutes before their baby starts to cry. Sometimes they're on it for 10 minutes and then they need to do a breastfeed. But they showed up and for them that this is what's easy for them and fitting into their lifestyle. And it's that chipping away. It's that consistency. It's on those building blocks. It's like when you build a house, you don't suddenly build a house in one day. You have to lay one brick at a time. And when we're talking about weight loss, if we can really break that down and think, okay, what can I do that's easy, that's fun, that works with me and my lifestyle that I can do today? And that's your building block for the day. That's your brick. And then that's, it's that repetition, that consistency. It's the putting the effort in. Sure, it might not have worked out, a particular workout, it perhaps wasn't 100%, it wasn't amazing, but it, you showed up, you did something, you did two minutes even. Like what is it for you that you can break down? Because it's the women that put in the consistency that show up. Again, some weeks are better, some weeks are worse, but again, just getting back into it. They're the ones that tend to reach their goals and they're really happy with their recovery outcome. If you'd like to come and join us, free seven days, no obligation, fitnessmama.com. Have a fabulous day and I look forward to you joining me next week for another episode of the Fitness Mama podcast. Thanks for listening to the Fitness Mama podcast brought to you by the Fitness Mama freebies found at www.fitnessmama.com forward slash free. So please take a few seconds to leave a review, subscribe so you don't miss an episode and be sure to take a screenshot of this podcast, upload it to your social media and tag me at Fitness Mama so I can give you a shout out too. Until next time, remember an active pregnancy, confident childbirth and strong postnatal recovery is something that you deserve. Remember our disclaimer, materials and contents in this podcast are intended as general information only and shouldn't substitute any medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. I'll see you soon.